Hi, this is Michael Zingar from the 28mm Wargaming uh, channel, and this is the 28mm Wargaming show. Uh, this is a continuation of my Horizons War 15mm project. Uh, what we're going to do now is the base troops that I bought for it. Uh, show you each uh, squad uh, that forms uh, four squads form a platoon. And basically, this is the first squad. Um, you can buy them from alternative armies by squad, or you can buy them by uh, platoon. I chose to buy them by platoon just to get it done, and it worked out pretty good for me. I've got a um, power armored trooper down there. Uh, that's Lenny. Squeeze in that uh, group of eight. And then uh, I've got a combat um, car that's got a missile launcher on top. For comparison, um, basically uh, buying it by a squad's a little bit more expensive than buying it by the platoon, but you know you get to choose um, what you want individually if you buy them by the squad. Uh, <clears throat> there's probably um, little to no flashing on it. I basically I eyeballed it and I didn't end up cleaning anything. Before I do the final uh, priming, I'll sit there with a little magnifying glass and uh, eyeball it and file away uh, what I need to do. But uh, basically, let's uh, do the zoom and uh, take a better look at these guys. Alright, so uh, there's the squad. We'll give the camera time to adjust. So uh, basically what they're armored with is... Uh, what I'd imagine would be pretty close to a shuriken catapult. I don't know if they still have that for the Eldar. Uh, but uh, each one of those guys have a nice uh, pokey uh, combat accessory on there. So uh, not so much for Horizon War, but when you do grunts, 15 mil or something like that, uh, take that into consideration. Uh, the captain's armed with a pistol. And uh, we're going to do a close-up on each guy because they all have individual poses. If you'll notice, I based them with uh, one cent pieces because that's the most economical way. It's pretty much the perfect size. With my standard troopers, I will base them on pennies when they're small like that. And then like my power armor guys, I use nickels. Probably the most economical way to go about it. Uh, it's just crazy to spend money on uh, Bases if you don't have to. I know a lot of guys use washers, but then you always got to deal with that hole in the bottom and stuff like that. <coughs> and uh, I've got a bunch of foreign coins sitting around, so basically I can't spend that money anyways. And, uh, you know, fires the way America is, those pennies actually cost three cents, I believe, to produce. I don't understand why they're still around. But I'm glad they are because uh, they make lovely bases. So let's do each individual guy. And then we'll do the scale comparison with the power armor trooper and the scale comparison with the vehicle. So we'll give the camera time to adjust. Hold on. There we go. Let's see if we can zoom in on that so you guys can see the detail. So nicely detailed guys, they got conical helmets, their uh, armor is basically similar to the uh, Harlequin armor, um, I think they call them glitter suits, and uh, that's a nice big ass uh, weapon, that's what the back looks like, so minimal amount of filing, prime that sucker up, paint it up. You can see just a little bit of mold line on the leg, but, you know, it's a metal model, which I prefer anyways. I can't imagine buying uh, plastic guys and doing this. And I'm just going to very quickly. Come on. There we go. A little better focus, so... That's some nice detail. And uh, there, there's not a repeat <clears throat> in the poses at all, which is very nice. This guy kind of looking down. I 
If anybody's fortune teller and wants to read that uh, mess of a palm down there, I'd be happy to give me a reading and uh, I'll give you a reading with my tarot cards. <laughs> a lot of you guys probably don't know this and it probably gets some discrimination in Europe, but I'm actually uh, half uh, German and half uh, Roma. My mom's full blood of Roma. Uh, the family got here in the 60s, migrated in from Canada. And uh, the funny thing is, uh, so much prejudice and racism against Roma. My uh, grandfather spoke German so well that he worked at a German clarinet factory in uh, Kenosha, Wisconsin for six years before they figured out he was a gypsy. There we go. So, really nice crisp molds. Cool outfits. Uh, I love these guns on these guys. Uh, it's half the reason why I picked the army is because I uh, really dug the uh, this uh, arm, this gun that these guys carry. And if I ever end up going crazy and end up getting more guys, you know, quite honestly, for the uh, Horizon Wars, you just need uh no more, I mean, 10 squads and you got more guys and you can shake a stick at or use on the board at all, you know, because it's combined war. You know, we're looking at max, we're looking at different types of vehicles, uh, different types of uh, airplanes, tanks, super heavy tanks, everything and anything under the sun. Now that guy's got a little bit more flashing on him. But still, it's, it's nothing you can't handle. Uh, you know, what's it take to do a 28 mil guy? Uh, if he's got, you know, just uh, some flashing on it, mold lines, what's it take, uh, 10 minutes a guy? I think you could get a 15 mil guy uh, ready for um, painting three minutes tops, if that. All right, so let me grab a uh, case. Uh, you know, you're new to the channel and you haven't seen the comparison. Here's the scaling duo, as I like to call them. It's kind of funny because one of the guys is actually wearing a cape. All right, so that is what that's the difference between. Oh, Jesus. Calm down. As you can tell, as it should be, the 28 millimeter guy is a little bit taller. Uh, the base, that little fat little round base helps. And, um, yeah, there we go. That's pretty even. <clears throat> the base helps make him a little bit bigger. He's got a, a pointy head. And uh, he should be bigger. He's in a, um, and he's standing straight up. So, uh, you know. The normal guy's is true 15. This uh, other guy's is about uh, 18 mil. All right. And let's do a comparison with the vehicle. I'll do a up top looking down at an angle like you'd be playing the game. All right. So right there at the fender as, as it should be. All right. And then let's do a side by side. So, ah, crap. Crappy crap, crap, crap. Nice thing about the coin basing is uh, it does make the miniature a little bit heavy. So, it gives you an idea on the thing. I gotta put a magnet on there to get that sucker to stick down. I order up some uh, three mil mags. So, uh, basically, that should give you guys a scale comparison. Uh, you know, when I post this, I'm not going to have the correct name. I'm sorry, I don't have the card for the ordering number, but uh, I will put the squad names because in the uh, platoon uh, box you get these guys, uh, guys armed with like a, uh, looks like a, kind of like a bolt rifle. You get a, a squad of heavies and then you get a leadership squad. And it's got miscellaneous uh, weapons, so... And a uh, little standard, uh, which I actually hate. Who the fuck runs around with the standard? But I guess it's sci-fi, so it is what it is. So uh, that's, this, that's the squad. That's what they look like. 
Let's zoom in a little bit more. You know, real nice miniatures. Uh, basically, uh, I hate to call these reviews because uh, I'm so in love with the line. So I'm a little bit biased. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, proof, proof is in the picture. You guys let me know. And how I want you to do that is basically do uh, hit the like button if you like the miniatures. If you don't like the miniatures, hit the dislike button. I really don't care what your opinion is on my videos. And I don't care what YouTube thinks. But uh, feel free to comment and stuff like that. Even negative ones uh, doesn't bug me at all. I got uh, skin thicker than a, a, a rhino. And I um, hope you guys subscribe to the channel. Hope you enjoy what I'm doing. I'm going to try to shoot two more videos before the light gets too bad because uh, it's starting to look grainy. I know it's, uh, that uh, it doesn't look that bad um, when I process the videos. Thank God. I guess it's compression through YouTube. So, uh, like, subscribe if you like the minis, and uh, may the dice be with you. Hasta la vista, guys.